Hello Diecast fans, this is a video for our friend in Europe, Diecastrum. I'm positive I must have seen this on his channel because he is like the king of Johnny Lightning M2s and green lights and uh, auto worlds and all that stuff. And, but he loves these Zinger cars and uh, you planted the seed a long time ago when I saw one of these Zinger uh, Kingswood Estates and I finally, now that I'm in the States, I was able to purchase it at a relatively decent price. Still overpaid, eBay, but whatever. It's cool. It's a funky looking ride here. So let's see. So it's now my belief and understanding that, you know, Johnny Lightning and Auto World and uh, what other, what's the other brand? They're all the same parent company, right? So that's why this packaging looks identical to Auto World. All right, one in 6,000 for this guy. What's this say for the facts? Uh, closed and exposed headlights. Look for the closed headlight version in the future. Okay, I'm gonna try to get the closed headlight one as a normal car from Auto World. <clears throat> Two exhaust options been tooled for side pipes or regular pipes. I think this must have the regular pipes. Or, no, maybe those are side pipes right there. The cut's really short, though. All right, it says yeah. grocery sledder number one. So is this, it says new casting, but this is a casting from Auto World, from what I understand. It's a 69 Chevy Kingswood Estate. And, uh, I do like that, you know, JL gives you photos of the other vehicles in their lineup, you know, so you can decide if you want one or not. That thing's pretty cool. I think that's that Ghostbusters limousine, that Cadillac, but I already have that one, so. All right. So the internet didn't tell me all too much about this, Wikipedia. So 1969 to 1972 was this body style, and this car was based on the Impala, and there would have been options from 1. I'm sorry, from 5.7 to 7.4 liter engines. So that's, that's big. And there are uh, V8 engines. There are two and three seat models, and I think what they mean there is maybe the front seats could be a three seat bench seat. Or like two separate seats that's what I assume and then uh, there's some power window options and stuff like that for the rear that is all right is this a sticker I think it's just a trading card no yeah. yeah it tells you text wise what else there is sadly that's gonna go in the trash all right so it's kind of weird to compare here as I mentioned I'm gonna try to get the auto world one of a regular car not all raked like this but this has the drift, uh, this, uh, I mean, this wood pattern on the side. It says drift wood. That's why I said drift. Look at this thing. It's a big ride. This one's leaning back, actually. And that wood pattern actually transfers around to the back tailgate. And Johnny Lightning did that as well on this guy. It's interesting, the six rectangular light sections or reflectors they're so spa they're spaced so far apart you know and yeah apparently people use these things for marketing reasons i think that says a hotel hotel z all right well let's take a look now at this uh johnny lightning so it's, i like it this is a white and black uh wood pattern sadly it's not enough though a lot of the blue is coming through there so that's too bad but I like the color combo. It's not often you see white and black wood, you know? And then it's all trapped within this silver chrome or silver ring, you know, as the chrome strip around the, on the real car. And so here's a reflector, one in the back, and then driftwood is nice and clear. <clears throat> the uh, door handles are sticking out quite a bit. I think they're painted silver or not. Mm, yeah, they are. They are. Some silver around the windows. I like, this one has plastic. This one's open. Sadly, there's a big chunk of metal missing right there on the B pillar, so that's too bad. Okay, the roof rack here. It's a separate chrome plastic piece, but they also painted some silver on these ribs here, and those are protruding. You can hear them. Uh, we got some vents here, and then this uh, silver trim around for the window surround. And then this one's just got a giant blown engine in the front. So I guess there is no panel gap, so I kind of like it, you know, with no hood. I guess you could go and add more details if you wanted to with some paint. And that one goes down kind of deep, so that's kind of cool. All right. 
Surfrat. Uh, I don't know what, what what state this is. Maybe we can zoom in. Nevada. Okay, so that's cool. Oh nine or something. Uh, texture here, some silver and black paint. Same up here, the Chevy bow tie. It's missing a little blue, sadly. Some silver paint on the headlights, some orange on the markers. Yeah, not, not so bad. Not the greatest, but not so bad. This side of the car is printed much nicer. There's no blue getting through, so that's good. This, this driftwood over here looks pretty good, nice. Much better than the other side. All right, let's go around to the back. So yeah, I guess Chevrolet, is that what it says? Let me see here. Yep, it's legible, so that's nice. A little lock mechanism is protruding. Silver paint around here. I don't think this opens or anything. And yeah, the wood pattern looks all right. The lights look okay. Those are backups. Yeah, all right, a little bit of mishap there. Nice license plate again. I don't know what this would be. Please, maybe that's the fuel filler door. Or was there one on the side? Oh, it looks like there could be one right here. So, uh, what is it, guys? Is this a step? Maybe this folds down. You can step to get to the stuff on the roof. That's what I'm speculating. All right, so now, <laughs> Singer thing. What's going on on the bottom of this guy? So it's got plastic tires, and I'm okay with that because I've had some of my rubber tires crack in half from age. But plastic tires will never age, you know? They'll never get flat spots, which is actually, it's actually unrealistic because real tires do have flat spots, but if you want to rotate your wheels, you want them to be round. So that's one unrealistic thing that I don't mind. Totally round wheels, preferably hard plastic, so they'll stay good for decades. And that's got these, uh, I don't know if these are torque thrusts or Kragers or whatever. They're so, a very popular uh, American classic muscle car wheel. Please leave a comment if you know. Uh, let's see here. Let's see if... So we're going to the text here. It's very small. Some legalese here. Who, company name made in China. Dongguan, China, April 2021. That's cool, the date. We have Johnny Lightning here, so we know what brand it is. Some production code over there. But what's weird is they don't tell you what the car is. And, you know, it's, I think it's strange. You know, a lot of brands tend to do this. Mini GT is one of them. I think Auto World. They don't tell you what the car you're holding in your hand is, as if you're expected to know thousands of cars by memory. I, I can't. Right? So I gotta add a sticker to the bottom of this explaining what it is. Okay, well, anyways, uh, let's back out and compare it to a couple other wagons here. <laughs> Such a weird looking stance on this guy. Uh, here's an Auto World Buick Estate wagon. See again, I don't know what kind, of, what year it is. It's just a. I only memorized the fact that it's a Buick Estate wagon, but it's a. Uh, I think it's '74. Here's the uh, Muscle Machines. This one, Muscle Machines doesn't write things either. This is a 57 Nomad, one of these Jesse James West Coast Choppers deals. This is a real car, that livery. And then M2 Machines, let's see if they do a good job. Yes, they tell you it's a 59 Cadillac. So that's nice, but this is a limo. Okay. So, they're all big, big cars from yesteryear. This is a big car in real life, I'm quite sure of it. The Buick, though, is bigger. It's much longer, actually. The Buick's a bigger, bigger ride. Alright, well, let's get this thing spinning. <laughs> Look at this rake. Yeah, that's uh, definitely unique. Uh, I probably won't collect many more of these things. Uh, I just like this particular ch car, this Kingswood. Uh, so I'm definitely gonna have to try to get one of the regular Auto World ones. And uh, we'll see, hopefully that I can get that off eBay at a decent price. All right, well, thanks for watching today. I'll see you the next time a Johnny Lightning comes in.